today we are going to design a dumbbell uh, press one so you are in the front view and take the picture from the um, google you can google it dumbbell and you will find picture like that or any other design which you want to follow so first uh, click on this uh, picture uh, the reference image and go here on under the object data properties and for the opacity we can decrease uh, decrease it 0.7 okay and i'm just going to move it in back side like that press one on your numpad and we can uh, try to make it in the middle so just move this one then select this move tool and move it and so this picture will be in the middle because we are going to use the mirror so make sure it's in the middle i am going to concentrate on this uh, uh, middle dumbbell okay so for the size if you want to make it a real world object uh, most of the dumbbell have like 24 centimeter so i'm going to add a plane and uh, shift a to add a plane or you can go here under the add and mesh and add a plane and for this plane uh, we are going to rotate it uh, r to rotate and around x axis 90 and okay I'm going to delete this one because we have to add the dimension for the plane. So shift A, mesh, plane, and here under the add plane, we are going to type the dimensions for our res, uh, reference. So most of the dumbbell have like 24 centimeter. So now this uh, this plane, uh, very small plane, uh, it become the E side will be uh, 0.2 M or 24 centimeter. Okay, now you get this plane R X and 90 and press 1. So you are in the front view and now I am going to uh, decrease the size of this plane uh, and by using the rotate wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in, zoom out and I am going to make it the with the size of this. So just check this mark X-ray so you can see this picture. Okay, so it almost the same size. Press one. Yeah, almost the same size. So I'm going to delete this plane and here under the empty, this empty is this reference plane and we want to make it unselectable. So go here under the filter and check this mark for selectable and check this one so now you cannot select this reference plane so now i am going to add a mesh shift a to go to mesh and here you can see we have the circle and for this circle here we have the vert vertices and radius uh, i am going to change uh, these uh, vertices to make it a hexagonal shape so i am going to type 8 and now rotate it or x and 90 so it is very big circle or hexagon i'm going to just make it small size and now we we want to rotate it around the z axis this is z so r z and 90 so press one so now this one is in the middle you can see here uh, under the orange color and then press tab so we added this uh, object this circle in the middle so it has this origin uh, the little dot is in in the in the world uh, origin you can say that or uh, under the cursor this 3d cursor so basically this is in the middle so now we want to uh, keep this uh, origin in 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 here and in the center so i'm going to press tab to go to edit mode so when we edit it move this uh, these vertices this origin must stay in the middle so press one and now i am going to move it uh, here at this point so we can use g for the shortcut and x to move it and place it here uh, under this uh, this uh, line uh, the reference of this dumbbell and then s to scale it and make sure uh, the height of this uh, circle or hexagon uh, and just make it equal to this reference and now i am going to press g to extrude it now 
we are excluding it and uh, but we want to log this uh, x axis so press x so it will be logged and make sure uh, you place it here under this the edge uh, like that okay i'm just click on the x-ray so we can also select the vertices which are under uh, these front vertices and here uh, here for this one i'm going to select all of these vertices press alt and select then uh, this so it will select all of these vertices and then press shift alt and you have to rotate it and click here in between these vertices so it can uh, it can select all of these uh, vertices or we can go to edge by two and select all of these edges and also these edges okay so in edge selection mode you can go here to select the edge or press two on your keyboard press one on your keyboard so these two sides are uh, selected basically we want to uh, make this uh, uh, these sides but we want to take care uh, about the sizes of these these one that's why we selected them and now press e and s to extrude them and then scale them now you can see it's moving inward because of the normals uh, we selected two different uh, uh, vertices or decided on different location so when we scale it it will move uh, towards each other then here and now s to scale it and scale it in x direction so it will move in that direction now at this point at this point i'm going to scale them s and c or only s like that then s and x to move it backward so basically these two sides are you know equal sizes like that okay then i am going to select all of these vertices and then scale it in s and z uh, like that and here at this point uh, we only select these vertices then e to extrude and then x to scale like that then again e and s like that and at this point we can uh, we we have to fill this hole we can press F to fill them or go here under the uh, face and grid fill so it will make a grid fill like that okay and same for this side so alt and select sorry alt and by pressing the alt select all of these vertices then E and S to scale like that and at this point we want to leave a hole here so S to scale again and now match with the reference by pressing the A so it will match this size G and X to see yeah it's the size is good okay and now we don't have to fill it then again E to extrude it in the X direction press X at this point now we can e and s and then press f to fill it like that so the basically we just extruded the one side of this dumbbell now we have to mirror this one so select this one go to modifier add a modifier and at this point we are going to add a mirror modifier and we have to see in which direction uh, we basically we need it in the x direction but we have to apply the control a and the transformation so that's very important when you move scale or uh, do any of these option in the object view you have to apply the control a to apply scale rotation location or all transformation so now you can see we just mirror this one okay so for the for the next one uh, we we have to add a uh, circle here at this point so go here uh, click tab and we have to select all of these uh, uh, lines all of these edges press alt and select all of these one and basically we want to move our 3d cursor at this point uh, so that when we add the other mesh it will be placed at this location so uh, to move this uh, 3d cursor uh, i am going to press shift a 
so it will give you these menus and here you can see cursor to collect it so you have to click it now you can see this 3d cursor move to uh, in, in the center of all of these edges okay then tap to go to the object mode and here at this point we are going to add object so shift a and i'm going to click mesh and here we are going to add a circle and uh, r z uh, r y rotate it in this direction and like 90 degree so it will be in that direction then s to scale and scale it and make it very small like that just a little bit bigger than than this hole okay so select this one uh, this this uh, this uh, circle and tap to go to the edit mode and basically uh, let me delete this one the second circle i am going to delete this one i am going to add an other circle uh, shift mesh uh, and we are going to add a circle but for the vertices we are going to basically uh, make it 32 so it will look like a circle like that so it has enough uh, geometry then go to tab and here we are going to rotate it around r uh, y and 90 and now make it very small then zoom to make it small so basically it must fit in this make it little bit larger like that and i'm going to select this one by pressing a to select every uh, vertices and then we are going to extrude it e to extrude in the other side and x to select it and just place it here like that and then e and s and then F to fill it. So we basically uh, make a cylind cylindrical shape which fit in the uh, hole of the dumbbell. Then again, I am going to select uh, all of these vertices on the front. So Alt and select all of these. Okay, and now press Tab to go to the front view. So now we basically have to drag uh, all of these uh, uh, points or the shape. So E to extrude it and extrude it in the X direction like that, and extrude it at this point and then again e to extrude and extrude at this point and is to scale it like that and then e to extrude it and, and x to lock its uh, extrusion in the x axis uh, like here and then s to scale like that and then again e to extrude at this point and little bit long little bit let me go control z okay little bit scale by pressing the s then again e to extrude and extrude in x direction and at this point i'm going to scale it like that then again extrude it and for this extrusion x to in the x direction i'm going to place it here and for this one again i'm going to add a uh, modifier which is mirror and mirror it in the x direction First, I am going to press Ctrl A and apply all transformation so so that the transformation is applied. And when we apply this modifier, it is very important. Uh, it will work correctly. Then tap to go to the edit mode. Now this point we want to join it here uh, with this with the other side vertices. So here you see the clipping. We have to click it. So when we move G and in the X direction, when they are attached. And they will attach at the center like that okay so again shift a and shade smooth auto smooth apply it and now you can see we make this and dumbbell if this is a small we can scale it so it must fit in the in this area like that so now we can apply the material so for this material it is black and this one it is gray for the steel like that so this is the dumbbell we designed it now i'm just going to delete this reference picture and here we are going to experiment something so select these two uh, shift d and y to move it here now this this is the second pair of the dumbbell so i am going to select this one and see what will happen 
then if we apply this subdivision surface so now it will become circular and same for this one if we apply the subdivision surface it will be more rounded shape like that and i am going to select this one tab to go to the edit mode and here if we add uh, like uh, more geometry control r like that control control r another loop here by control r we can add the loop control r uh, add loop here place it like that control r and here you can see uh, we have the shape like that for this one control r like that and for this one control r and here if you see the inside uh, it is uh, like that control r to add a loop here like that and control r so here we have these two types of uh, different dimples and uh, one is like a hard surface modeling and other is uh, when we apply the subdivision surface uh, the shape is changed and uh, as you know that the subdivision surface added more geometry to make it a uh, good shape so thank you so much guys if you follow it uh, you may learn something new and if you uh, maybe know all of these commands so it is good for the practice and here we can share story thank you so much